record it. All right, cool. All right, so let's let's get into it. Let's get into it. So I'm a um. Do y'all uh have a have a chart, a pair, a currency pair that y'all want me to look at? Who was that? Is that me? Thanks, so, bro. Oh, I need to do this Dog, what is that? We good? Yeah, that's me. That was me. My fault. So y'all got a, anybody got a currency pair to call? Call going to call one out so we can mark that boy up. USD CAD. You can hear me? Okay, they can hear me. USD CAD. Okay. So anybody, uh, is everybody comfortable when I call out trades in my group? My group is J Wayne Trades. So uh, is, are y'all seeing my trades that I call out? I'm seeing it. Okay, okay. Um, the newest person in the group, uh, who is that? Um, that's from you, Justin, right? Yeah. Ever. Okay. You seeing? Are you seeing the trades that I call out? Like the one you talking about, USD CAD? No, like I call out a trade like during the London session, during early in the mornings, and I call out a trade uh, around three a.m. in the morning, and I'm just trying to make sure that you guys are seeing it. You talking about on trade and get paid? No, uh, I don't call out trades on trade and get paid. I call out trades only in J Wayne trades and uh, Discord. Oh, I thought. Well, yeah, I see them all the time. Okay, for sure. So the last, the last trade I called out was a uh, GBP JPY. And uh, so, so for me, now here's the thing, guys. The the whole purpose. Of you, of you guys joining iMarkets Live is so you can have a fast track to learning how to trade and make money on your own. Um, if you did it on your own, you would be on an island. You won't have the help. You won't have these kind of things. You won't have this. You just be on your own YouTube video. Oh, hello. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying. So that was the whole purpose. So the the goal is to help you earn her while you're learning. I don't know what's going on. Oh my god, who is that? If y'all making a lot of noise, just mute. Yeah. So, um, hold on, man. Thank you. Moving. Yeah. So, so the whole purpose is to help you earn while you're learning. So. While you're watching IML Academy and watching these videos, which you, you have to watch them, you know what I'm saying, you, if you want to learn how to trade, um, then you can get my trades. That's the whole benefit of joining my team. And you can get my trades, but I only trade early in the morning. Like, I trade the London session, like, from 2 a.m. to, like, 5 a.m. So if you want to catch my trades, you got to be having your phone by your ear 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning so you can hear that ring if you want to catch them. Cause I'm not calling out trades right now. I like I'm living my life right now. I'm I'm trying to help you guys around this time. I'm not I'm not in the market right now. I'm in the market during the fastest time, and that's two a.m. to five a.m. And uh, yeah, so um, so we're gonna look at the pair USD CAD. Let's look at that boy. <laughs> So, USD CAD. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my screen around. Um, everybody on here went through basics one through four or, or almost done with it? All right, cool. So, so this, so what I'm, I'm a, I may ask somebody a question, you know, try to answer that boy. Um, but it, this should be straightforward then because the next training I'm going to do is going to be intermediate. It's going to be showing you like this, this training right here is not going to be dealing with, um, 
uh, what, uh, what they call it, indicators. We're not dealing with no indicators. We dealing with market structure, understanding how to put your support and resistance lines, and how to just do market structure. That's it. Price action. Uh, the next video, once everybody is on the same page, because I'm trying to get my team to where we all eating the same, like we all eating right. We all on the same page. We all growing together. We ain't, leave, we ain't trying to leave nobody behind. So once everybody get past this stage, then we're going to go to the next stage, and that's going to be showing you how to look at these charts, how to catch these pullbacks, how to read these indicators. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. Yep. All right, cool. So the first thing, first things first. What is the, so Justin Murphy, like, okay, I'll let your boy. What is the first thing we do when we go to look at a chart? Well, we look to the left, bro. The first thing we do is jump to the daily. That's the first thing we do. We go to the daily. Why, why do we go to the daily? Because this whole Forex, like, broken up in time frames, 30 minute, one minute, one hour, four hour. We want to read all the chapters. We don't just want a piece of the chapter. We want all the, We want to read the whole book. So that's why we start at, on the daily. And the whole purpose of the daily is just to show you the overall trend. So that's what we're doing right now. We're trying to see the overall trend. Yeah, I got so, one. Um... Huh? So, so, um, USD, uh, USD CAD. So what would you say? What somebody go ahead and tell me what is the overall trend it is? What, what is this trend right here? Do anybody know? Yeah, you say this is a downtrend? It's there, right? Consolidation, bro. He said he say consolidation. Oh, because it's going straight. When it's going straight, that's consolidation, right? Uh, you mean sideways? Yeah, my bad. Yeah. yeah, when it's going sideways, it's consolidation. So basically, I will say... I would say we in a we in the uptrend now though. Like I, I understand the consolidation though. Like I understand the consolidation because what he's saying is, from here to here, we just kind of sitting in in, in this level and it's, you know so or put it right here. Um, those are the Togon came. He tried to work on it a bit, mm -hmm. um, but it was the valve. The, the stem was off, so it was kept letting Aaron. Okay. Like All right. So he's saying consolidation because he's saying like it went up, went down, coming back up. But I'm going to say this boy is on an uptrend now. The down, this was the downtrend. Let me put that, uh, this was the downtrend. But if you look at it, it broke it. The downtrend has been broken. Right here. How do we know that downtrend broken? Because, okay, price was coming down. Tapped it, couldn't really it try to break out. It couldn't break out. See that, that green one that green one tried to hit it, couldn't break out, drop back down with an engulfing candle. Boom. You should have known. This is an engulfing candle. It engulfed one, two, three, four, five, six candles. You see what I'm saying? So they didn't golf it. We definitely still going in the downtrend. Okay, try to pull it back. Dropped again. Try to come back and break this trend line. It tried so hard to break this trend line to go and reverse. It couldn't. It wicked out. Came back down. Came back down. And then at this level right here, it stopped. Okay? It could have kept dropping, but it didn't because you got this area right here. It's hitting this uh, resistance level. Okay? So then it finally broke out, right? It finally broke that trend line. And look what happened when it broke that trend line. So if I'm not a I'm not a daily trader, I don't trade on a daily. That's for like swing traders and Christopher Terry, the CEO of the company, 
Stevenson, Lindor, these guys trade like this. So they would just be looking at the four hour in the daily and be making trades. And they'd sit in this boy like for three, four weeks. You know, it, it's going to take three, couple, like three, four weeks to catch all of this. <clears throat> so, but it broke the trend line. So now since we broke, but the only, for us, we don't trade like that. We trade on like the 15 to 30 minute type stuff, one hour. So once you saw that this broke on the daily, you should have known that you should have been looking for buys. We're not on the daily trying to trade the buys, but we should have been looking for buys because now we broke that trend line. So for the next week or so, we should be looking for buys. You see, when people, how, like, do you, have you, haven't you heard when people be like, you know what, I'm expecting uh, GDP USD to be in an upward trend for like a month or so. Like, how do they know that? Because they're going off of price action. Something showed them that it broke a level. If, it, if price broke a level, like right here, it broke this, uh, this trend line, then I'm saying we should be looking for buys for like the next week or so. Now it's gonna fluctuate, as you can see that wick, that wick came down right here, it's gonna fluctuate. It ain't gonna just shoot straight up. It's gonna fluctuate, but I said we gotta look for buys. So we gotta wait for the little pullbacks to be over and jump right back in on the buy. And you can catch that movement all the way up in pieces. Not all at once, but in pieces. Especially, you can't, it's hard to catch this trade all at once if you only got a couple hundred dollars in your account. You know what I'm saying? Because you you gotta have like a couple thousand. You gotta have like about five, ten thousand, because you wanna come. You wanna uh, account for the pullbacks and all that. You want your account to be able to handle that. So that's the only reason why we're looking on the daily, is to see what is the overall trend. Now, he's saying consolidation because it was it was on the uptrend and now it's going sideways, right up in here. So Justin Murphy would be right because this is now consolidation. And, but overall we're in an uptrend, but we have to really wait. Now there's, there's a lot of trades right, right within this one red candle. We can catch, we can make a living right off of this one little red candle right here. Or, or, or probably not, not that much, but like right here, like this little candle right here on the daily, if you break that down to the 30 minute chart, we can grab 50 pips out of this. We can grab that. You know what I'm saying? But but overall on the daily, we don't know which way it's going right now. It could go either way. So let me mark it up. So so how would you mark this up? You would, you would just mark it right here and you would mark it right here. And 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 what I was what I was teaching the team is that we don't look for just lines. We we mark zones. We mark we mark zone. So how would you mark this zone? You would go, oh excuse me, something like that. You know, don't just focus on lines. Focus on zones. Boom. Go to the wick. All right. So boom. So this is our daily. So if price come up this high again on the daily, you know that it could possibly turn back around. So that's how you will mark that daily up and you will leave that. You will leave that. So what happens is if price comes down, what well, right now is going up, it wicked out now it's going up. So if it comes up and comes all the way back up here, it could possibly, and it break, if it breaks it, this is how we looking at it. If it don't break it and it stop here, we looking to take that sale back down, right? We look, we looking to take that sale back down. Now, if it breaks it though, we're looking for it to break it. Don't take the buy, do not take the buy. Because look, if you took this buy, it all it did was just reverse right back on you. We looking for this boy to break past. Who know the answer to this? What are we waiting for? When it breaks this zone area, what are we waiting for to get in for a buy? Uh, Justin Murphy said pullback. So what does that pullback look like? Something like that. Something you, it could pull back right here. It could pull back here. But we're waiting for a pullback. Once the pullback is over, we're going to see another candle that pop out. 
that's when we take the buy once it starts popping back out. See this one, this one didn't pop back out. It it broke the it broke the zone level. See it, it had a hard time breaking the level right here. And it came back down. Try to break it again. Finally broke it. Finally broke this level. We wanted it to stop here and come back up, but it didn't. It, it came right back down. And and look, Adam, how do you know that you have a good zone drawn up? How do you know? This is how you know. It takes a big candle to break through that zone. Look, it took a – these little candles couldn't do it. You see what I'm saying? But it took a bigger candle, a bigger candle to break through. That's how you know that this zone needs to get marked up on the daily, and we watch for it. This, these candles might not even get up here until next week, but when it does, you see what I'm saying? When it does, we will be ready. You'll be like, okay, next week, next week you'll be like, yo, this candle was up here wicking out. I might be looking for another sale, another drop off, just like how I did here. Came up in here and dropped off. You will be ready. You see what I'm saying? So you keep your chart marked up. You don't just delete these lines. You keep these boys marked up. All right? So that's that's how we looking on the dailies. And you and you do all this on a Sunday. You do all of this on a on midweek on a Wednesday. Mark your charts up. You don't want to be during the London session 2 a.m. in the morning. You're trying to mark your chart up. That's too, No, you, it's time to make a trade. On Sunday and Wednesday, you will mark your chart up. Because Sunday, the market is closed, and you want to mark your chart up and get ready. Wednesday, that's the middle of the week. So you want to see, reassess what happened. And if you need to remark your chart up, then you can remark it up for the rest of the week. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And that's how we do it, week after week after week. So here we go. So now, that's just the daily, though. So do anybody understand that and got or got any questions on that? On what I just talked about? I don't understand it. Was that, that, was, that was pretty simple, though. Like, that's not, like, yeah. So that's the daily. But we don't make trades on the daily. So now we got to go down to the four-hour. Remember, we're trying to read this whole book. So now we on the four hour. See our zone still there? Our zone still there. So if you was on the four hour, guys, and you was in this trade right here, this is consolidation, right? Is this consolidation? We we not messing with that. Rookies, rookies try to get in on a buy here, get in on a sell here, and they just rack their brain. They go crazy. But if you experience, you will know you shouldn't be messing with this. You got to let that go. So what, what happens is this thing was on a four hour. So that means like one day, two day, three day, like these little blue lines that, that represents days, three days, four days, five days, like two weeks, this boy consolidated two weeks. So that means you need to leave this pair alone and you need to move on to a different pair. Move on to something else. Don't be trying to force trades because you don't know which way it's going to go. You can get in for the buy and then it drop on you. You can get in on a sale and then it go up on you. That's what happens in this consolidation. So what you do is you mark it up. And really, trading, look, what if, what if, hold on, let me show you something. What if we did this? Let's play this boy out real quick. Let's go here. I'm going to go here. All right. So I erased everything that happened. Hopefully you don't remember what happened. Let's play this trade out. Let's 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 simulate. And this is what you guys should be doing. This is how you're gonna know if you can master basics one through four. You go through trade and view, you erase the chart and you and you place the trade. You simulate it. And if you can identify what it's doing from basics one through four, then that's how you know when you're mastering it. But if you don't know what's going on, you need to rewatch them videos. All right, so look, it was on the uptrend. We missed this. We missed this whole move. So what are we going to do? 
what we gonna do, Justin? We missed this whole uptrend. What we gonna what we gonna do right now? This is where we at on this red candle. Wait, you the, you calling the trade out, Justin? What we gonna do? Gotta wait for the retest. Retest where? Down here? Yeah. For for one for one, we don't even have no zone. We don't even know that this is a zone yet. You feel me? So this line gotta go. Like we don't know what our support or resistance is at this point. At, at this point, you would only have to to know by looking back, looking left. You see what I'm saying? If this is all you got, how do you know where your zone is, Adam? How would you know where your zone is? Support possible support and resistance. If this is all you got, um, look left. Look left. So let's look left. And let's draw up a zone. Uh, let me see who up on here. We got Preston. Preston, do you go? You go with your support and resistance? Yeah, I'm good with it. Can you hear? So, me? Where, so yeah, where are we gonna put it at? Up here? Where are we gonna put down here? Where are we gonna put it? Because this is, is what we got to work with. The support or resistance. Yeah, where are we gonna put our line at for our support and resistance? Uh, it's kind of small on my screen. I got the iPhone. Bro. Oh yeah. You gonna put your uh, resistance? You can tell me go up, up, down, whatever. Your support uh, go up a little bit. Down. Um, I would put it at the bottom of that red and green combination, right to your ear. Yeah. So he'll put it here. Okay. Okay. Do that make sense? Did that make sense, y'all? Let me see. Let me see. Boom. Bring it right here. Okay, so so we put our line here. Okay, let's put our line here. That's cool. But again, we don't just put, I know I ain't asked you, but we don't just put no line here. We, we, we don't look at a line. We look at zones. We look at zones. So our daily is marked up. I'm going to mark this one up on, I would do something like this. Let me see. This boy right here. Hold on. Because you don't want to get confused. Your daily is going to stay there for like a long time. But these little four hours, they, they change. So you will put daily. See that right there? Boom. I know that these zones are my daily and I don't touch them. Because when you get to Wednesday, you forgot. You, you kind of forget about all this stuff. You know, so... You want to make sure you you setting yourself up right. So how? Let me see. I'm gonna put format. I want to go daily. Boom. So here here's my daily. All right. Boom. So I know I got my daily. So anything else is just gonna be temporary. So you will put your support all the way through here. Ooh, cooks. All right. So I would say that that's a good support uh, support um, line right there. So where would be our resistance at then? If we put our support here, where is the resistance going to go? Honestly, it's kind of already marked up from the daily though, right? Basically, yeah. Because it's, it's wicking out right up in, in this little area. It, uh, what 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 was a a floor became a ceiling. It was a it, it broke past it, and it was a, like a little floor right here because it really couldn't keep going down and it came back up. So it was a floor. Do that make sense? It was a floor because it was supporting it. This was going with supporting this, but then it finally broke through and it tried to come back up and it hit a ceiling. So that's how you know you got a strong level because the floor became the ceiling right up in here okay all right so now that tells you we got a we got a strong zone so now all we still trying to figure out what we going to do with this okay so we got our zones popped up um we basically missed the trade if this is where we at we missed this buy you could have took this buy easy because it, it came up and retest didn't it and bounce right back up. That's what I'm saying. When I draw those little lines, it came up. Sometimes it come up higher. Sometimes it retests right at the line. They all look different. And, and the more that you go through your charts, 
the more you look at these charts, the more you see it happening in different ways. See, that's what I'm saying. People want to go live so quick and do their own thing, but like you ain't even seen what the market has to offer no, you yet. I don't. You ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like beginners that want to go live and do their own thing so quick. I'd be like, yo, you ain't even seen all the tricks of the market yet. Like you need to stay under guidance. So, Patience. yeah, so this boy pulled back, wicked out, and then you saw that engulfing candle. It engulfed one, two, three, three candles. It engulfed. Okay, I'm taking that by and ride that boy up. How many pips would that have been? But we missed it. But I'm just saying, how many pips would that have been? A good 40 pips. You can make a living off of that. Taking a standard, $400. All right? And that's just a day, all right? So here we go. We got to play this trade out, though. We got our zone marked up. Now we can look to see what we're going to do. Right now, we're not doing nothing because we already missed the buy already. Play this boy out. Let me let me slow down the speed a little bit. All right. So look at that. Okay. Okay, Justin, what we got? Let's pause it. Let's pause it. I don't want it to keep going. That boy pulled back. You said wait for the pullback. So what we going to do? What we going to do? We got to be That boy keep playing. I'm trying to stop it. What we going to do right there? Yeah, so so what are we gonna do? This is where we at. We we trying to get make, make some money. What are we gonna do? We gotta wait a little bit more, bro, because that's tricky. You go, might hop in and then ride all the way down. So you okay. See, so it and go off your direction. When I can't going, I can't hear you though. I can't hear you. I can hear you a little bit, but I can't hear you. I said and go off in your direction. It's right now. It's a little risky, bro, because we don't know if it's gonna break through and have a breakout. Right, right. So we got to wait. So the thing of it is, is that people don't have patience. There's like, just because we can hit buy and sell and we could potentially make money, people is rushing. Like, we got to be patient. There's like 30 some pairs. We can, we can have this boy marked up, keep an eye on it every four hours and just go to another pair and see what's popping over there. So let's just wait. Okay, we waiting. Next candle forms. Okay, Justin. All right, what's up? How let your boy? What we doing? Now we in, we in, we in, cause it closed on another one going in my direction. So now I'm jumping in, bro. I'm going there. All right. So here's the thing. Where we getting in at? Because you can't just hit buy. That's what everybody do. They just hit, oh, let's hit buy. I bought that. No, 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 no. That's a rookie. You gotta understand what's your risk to reward. What's your risk to reward? What What is, where's your stop? We already know we're going to enter here, but where's your stop loss going to be? Where's your take profit going to be? Stop loss going to be back where the line at right there. So stop loss going to be, this is, this is a long. Whenever it's going up and buying, we call that long. Whenever it's dropping and selling, we call that short. So let's do a long. Okay, so let's drop this boy right here. Boom. Where's our stop loss gonna be? Right here? Just tell me when to stop. No. Yeah. Keep going? I think you went higher. What you higher? Said? Up here? No, our stop, we gonna be at the last um, place in planet. Go up a little bit more. Last place, place in planet, what? <laughs> Go up at the line a little bit more, bro. <laughs> uh, go go right here. To third, to about uh, up or down. Yeah, you good about right there, bro. So right here, okay. So you saying I get what you saying. You saying yo, since we up this high, price probably ain't gonna come back down this far no more. But I'm gonna go to a lower. <laughs> you gonna go to a lower level? Now let, let me oh, tell no, you though. No, no. Let me oh, let me no. take. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Let me tell you. You only got one minute to figure this out. You ain't, you ain't got you ain't got a whole hour to be like, you know, I'm going to put it up here. No, I'm going to move it here. Like, Jay, where you think I should move it? Like, you didn't miss the train. You got to be quick, yeah. Oh, bro, but you on the four hour. I'm talking about the, I go to the one hour. Yeah. I'm going it out from there. Then I do my entry. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on the four hour, but let me, let me tell you something, though. Just because I'm on a four hour, 
I, truth be told, bro, I don't place my trades on them for an hour. But what, what we see here is the same scenario that we would see on the 30 minute where we place our trades. So I'm, I'm, I feel comfortable I feel comfortable uh, showing y'all and training y'all on the four hour because this same stuff happens on the 30 minute. You going you gonna to come into the same scenario. Okay, price is here. Where am I going to put my stop loss? It's going to look the exact same. So, you know what I'm saying? So I don't have to be on a 30 minute showing y'all this. I, I'm on a four hour because I can do everything in one. I can mark up the charts and I can show you how to place these trades and do your risk to reward on the four hour all at the same time. It's going to be the same scenario on the 30 minute. So, so where are we going to place our, our stop? Now, let, okay, so let me, let me just tell you. The rule of thumb is this. If I call out a trade in the group, y'all, I want us to get to the point where we're not asking me where, you, where your stop loss at, where your take profit at. What you mean where my stop loss at? I take $50 a pip. My stop loss right here. You see what I'm saying? I take $50 a pip. So I ain't finna have no stop loss all the way down here risking $1,000 of my money. 40%. You see what I'm saying? So my stop loss is tight. But you might not be going on $50, $50 a pip. You might be going on $1 a pip. So if you got $1,000 in your account and you trading off a dollar, you can put your stop loss down here. That ain't gonna, if you lose, that ain't going to phase your account because you're just going to make the next trade and just make all that right back up. But if I got a $50 a pip, that, man, I done blew my account on halfway through. So I'm like, I'm getting in at the best possible moments. So I'm gonna put my stop loss tight. I'm willing to lose six hundred dollars. I got, I got, I got, uh, I got nine thousand dollars in my account. I'm willing to lose six hundred dollars. If it, if it, if if I lose six hundred dollars, I'm out this trade. It is what it is. That's why my my analysis be on point because I ain't trying to lose no money. You see what I'm saying? So. <clears throat> so that's what I'm saying. So, but if but a rule of thumb is you always want to put your your stop loss below the low. This is the low. That little red. Let me zoom in. That red wick right there. That's the low. So you want to put your stop loss below that. That's a rule of thumb. So if I if I call out a trade in the J Wayne Trades Group, and I don't tell you a stop loss, you don't even gotta ask me. You can, I, you can, I, and I'll tell you. I ain't got a problem with telling you, but you should know that it's gonna go below the low. The low, the lowest, the the first lowest candle, which is that red wick. That, that's where you're gonna put your stop loss at. All right, and then if you feel like going on, if you feeling lucky, and I don't really like to be lucky, I just like to be blessed. But if you feeling like that, and you want to take a big lot size. Then you gotta then you gotta move your stop loss according to your lot size. If you got a thousand dollars in your account <coughs> and you put your and you put right here and you and you put a standard ten dollars a pip, then you and you got your stop loss right here, that means you you willing to risk two hundred and forty dollars of your thousand. So you gotta ask yourself, am I am I willing to uh, lose two hundred and sixty dollars? No, 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 I ain't willing to lose that. So let me move my stop loss up or let me just take a lower lot size. You see what I'm saying? This is the thoughts that you have to think through in minutes. That's why when, when I first started, I studied four hours a day, man. Two hours when I woke up, two hours when I went to bed. And I, and I played through these trades. I talked myself through these trades. Like, well, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do. And the, and the more I did it, the quicker I got at it. So that's what I, I uh, suggest you guys do on your own time. And I did that, like, a lot on the weekend. As soon as the market closed, I was back tested. I'm like, okay, time to study. But here, here we go. So, all right, so we in the buy, right? Where's our take profit, uh, Justin? Because this is Justin's trade right now. This is Justin's trade. Where we at? Where's the take profit? Where's the take profit at, bro? Yup, I'll let you look at the market. All right, that's what we got. Looking left, where we taking profit? We gonna go to that next support. I mean, oh man, you you a big boy? Okay. 
but I ain't gonna do mine right there, bro. I'm looking. Ooh, what you doing there? So you calling out a trade? Hey, y'all, go up to the next support level. But I ain't gonna do that. No, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm going to the next support, bro. That's support. <laughs> right here. Yeah, I'll probably take it up there, but I'm kind of a five pip type of guy. You know. Okay, so when so when Justin get get comfortable and later on a year from now he calling out his trades, you calling out the scalps. Yeah, I'm, I'm scalping. But see, that's going to be a beast team, though, y'all. Imagine a year from now. We hang in here. We get through these losses. We get through this trial and error phase. A year from now, we all calling out trades for each other. Uh, I'm calling out these 30-pip crossovers, 30-minute crossovers. I'm looking, at, I'm looking at the – by the end, I should be catching 100 pips. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Justin calling out the scalps. Preston calling out his trades. Like, that's how, that's how I envision us. I see it too, bro. We all eating. So, but we got to get there. So this is where you go. So Justin, let's see if you made us some money, man. Let's go. Okay, we in profit. Oh man, okay. Don't get scared. Oh, you scared now, Justin? What are we gonna do? Close the trade? All right. Um, okay. No, we still in. We ain't get stopped out yet. We ain't get stopped out yet. So we still in. Don't worry, y'all. Okay. Okay. It's all about patience, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very eccentric. Oh, stopped out. We lost. <laughs> yeah, we didn't lose yet, bro. We yeah, still... we did. We stopped out. Look at that wick. That wick went through the line. But what I tell you, bro, I said I'm a five pip getter. So go get my five pip. Show them five, that big jump. That's my five. I'm out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't so if you, if you did that, too, if you did that, then yeah, you got your pips and you was done. All right, cool. You got okay. So yeah, that's what's up. But I ain't no five pip guy. So look, all right, boom. So if, if we if we took if we took and we took the buy and we wanted to ride it up. We got stopped out, y'all. Okay, if you put your stop loss there. So what do we do now? We don't just fold up. We don't just fold up and we don't get angry and try to revenge either. What we do is reassess. So what we got to do is say, okay, now we have now we have resistance. Now I have identified resistance. I already had my support, but I wasn't sure about my resistance up in here because that was a little choppy. So now we got it. Okay, so now I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be waiting next time. So let's play the trade out. Okay, so Justin, if, if you catching five pips, you can be able to catch these little things because this is the four hour. If I jump to the 30 minute, this is going to be a nice little stretch. It's going to be like 10 or 15 pips, 20 pips right here on the 30 minute. <laughs> But right now we consolidating. You feel me? Right? Can y'all tell at this consolidation at this point? Yeah. All right. The reason why, look, that, that big engulfing candle, you, you probably wanted to take that by. But let me tell you why you shouldn't. For one, we already have established a, a resistance, a resistance zone right here. So your mind should be, your mind should be. Forex or, or Forex market, you're not about to trick me again. You're not about to get me again. The only way I'm going to take this trade is if, is if it breaks out, right? Comes back down to retest of some sort. It might not go that high. It might go like this high and retest. Whatever it does, I'm waiting for it to break out. I'm waiting for that. You're not about to get me again trying to catch you down here, come back up here, and then you reverse on me. You see what I'm saying? We, we can't do that. We, are, we already identified our support from these two candles right here, these two highs. Okay? So that's what we're waiting on. Or if you don't want to – and don't, be set, don't, be, don't have your mind set on a buy. Have your mind set on it could go either way. It could go either way. You want to trap price in a sense. You want to trap it. And you and you keep these lines here and you wait. Okay? 
So let's go. Let's speed this up a little bit. Let's speed this up a little bit. That boy went all the way up, faked everybody out, came right back down. Now, you can scalp this, though. So this is what I do, y'all. I don't do this on no US. I don't even trade USD CAD, to be honest with you. But I did this because my man's called it out. But I'll be on a GBP USD, and this boy shoot up, and I know this boy coming up. And I'll take $50 a pip and only grab a piece of it. Only grab this much and grab $600 out of this little candle before it pull back on me. You can scalp that on a big lot size. And then once you're once you happy with your profits, take the profit and then go back to your regular lot size. That's how I compound my account so quick. Okay. So ain't nothing really broke out yet. You see what I'm saying? Everything just sitting, consolidating. We, we can't take none of these trades. I'm going I'm to speed it up, though. It's going too slow. You see what I'm saying? Boom, just playing with us, playing with us. We we smarter than this. We ain't messing with it. Man, how long is this boy gonna consolidate for? Yeah, that's this is exactly why I don't trade this pair. I be on all all you see me trade is like GBP pairs. That's all you see. Through through J Wayne trades GBP JPY GBP USD buy, okay we broke out with a nice candle. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I was supposed yeah. to pause that. Dang. Dang. Why Damn. why they ain't stopping? Damn. Yeah. Uh, we uh, that boy just ain't stopping. Okay, I paused the thing. I want to come back and retest, bro. It did. Dang, I can't even simulate the trade right because it just won't stop. Did it stop? It it stopped for a second. There you go, bro. Man, are you serious, man? I'm trying to. That's a good sound. Dang, I'm trying to go through the trade and this thing just keep going. Like I pause. Oh, that's a that's a good sound. What's up, man? Forward play pause. How you pause this way? See you later. It should have stopped soon. So anyways, when it broke out, though, this is the pullback here. I'm sorry, y'all. I wish we could really simulate it. Cause this thing just did a mind of its own real quick, and it's still going, and it's paused. Pause. Not, not, not even whipped out on me. Okay. Dang, man. Anyways, anyways, I, we get the idea. But you see how it broke out here? It broke out. It closed above. You see how none of these closed? You see how they came up, but they, they didn't close. They came back down. That's a no-go. It came back up. Okay, yeah, now it's looking like a buy. It looked like a buy. Up, oh, nope. It, it went back out. That's a no-go. This one, it closed above our little zone. Now we're looking at, yo, okay, now we're looking for a buy. Let me wait for it to pull back. Let me show you something, though. If you jump on the 30... Let me mark this up. Let me show y'all something. You see how the wick is right here? You see that little wick? <coughs> On the 30 minute, that's a whole pullback. Let me show you what that look like. So I'm gonna mark it right here. I'm gonna mark it right here and go to the 30 minute. Right here. So let me go to the four hour. What I want to, that's that whole drop right, hold on, no, I want to catch that pullback, I don't want to catch all that. Oh, what time is it? So, right here. Let's, let's see what that look like on the 30 minute. So it broke above, where did it break above at? Right here, this is where it broke above. It's that pullback right on that zone. See what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. So it, it didn't break, it didn't break, and finally it broke. And it pulled back. It pulled back, wicked out, and shot up. You see, that, that's how you know that we can take this trade because, because it made a floor. It made a floor. It, it, what, what, what was a ceiling? You see, hit his head, drop. Hit his head on the ceiling, drop. Hit his head on the ceiling, drop. Finally broke above, 
dropped what was what was the ceiling, became a floor, wicked out, came back up, take the buy. But we had to wait weeks to catch it. I ain't finna. I ain't finna wait no weeks to catch this. I'm sorry. Just to catch 30 pips? I waited two weeks? You crazy. You crazy. So, but, but I'm gonna be on to other pairs. At the same time, I'm gonna be monitoring this boy because I'm catching, I'm catching them all like Pokemon. But, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. So, I just wanted to show y'all that go to retest. Remember I showed you that that was a wick? On a four hour, that's what it looked it like on a 30 minute. So Adam, when we was talking last night, when I say I, I wait for it to pull back on a 30 minute, that's what I was talking about. Okay. But if you but if you was on a four hour, all you got was that wick. And that's and, and that's all all you really needed was that wick. Like right here. Like when that boy came down and wicked out and came back up, you ain't had to go, you ain't really have to see that on a 30 minute. That that was all you really needed, and then took the buy, and then and then why why would you take profit up here though? Why would you take profit? Because that's our zone. Right. Don't say oh this this thing is a big candle. Don't be don't be ignorant and say this is a big candle. This thing about to blow past it. Don't be ignorant like that. We drew our zone up because that's our daily. That is strong. See how I marked it? Daily. We up in our daily zone from the four hour. Take profit. Take profit. Now I got an indicator that shoots an arrow right here to tell you when to get out. But ain't, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't really ready for that yet. But I want to show y'all that. I want to give y'all these indicators that I got. It'll be like, boop, a little arrow pop up that's aiming down, saying get out the trade because it's about to sell. Now you could take this sell easy. Because look at my strategy, y'all. My strategy, hold on. Also, let me show y'all this. Let me show y'all this. I ain't finna get deep into the indicators, but watch this. The pivot points. Look how we got a R1 right here. And look where it wicked out at. Our stuff is lining up way before I even pulled this out. The stuff is lining up. A pivot point right here. Pivot mean that this is where it's going to turn around at. Where the P at. You see how this stuff is hitting? Look at this support one. Support one right down here on our zone. I ain't even had this up here. We drew this up on a daily without any of this. But look how it's hitting. Everything hitting right. So if you if you draw your support and resistance lines and then you throw out this pivot classic, that this can give you confirmation that your zones is marked up right. This could be good for you, Adam. And uh, and uh and uh street, this would be good for street, and this would be good for um Justin Murphy and whoever else struggling, you know what I'm saying? Because like, because y'all say, I don't know if my support zones is right. Well, all you got to do is throw up that Pivots Classic and uh, 15 and see where, where it's hitting at. And it ain't got to hit right on, but it got to be in the vicinity. And then you like, yo, this is right. Look at this. Wick came down, support two. Shot right back up. See what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, it's lining up with these pivots. My, my support zones is on point. So then I'll take it off. And let's trade. You know what I'm saying? Let's trade. So, um, look at this. Let me pull out my other indicator real quick. I ain't really trying to go too deep though. But watch this. When that boy, when that blue line crossed below that pink line and that dot was on top, you could have took that sale. Cause the dots on top, the momentum going down. The blue line crossed below the pink. What you see? The momentum going where? Down. Down. Take that sale. Easy. Take this drop off. Why? Look at the confirmations, y'all. It came up to it came. We caught the buy, and it's easy to get back on the trade right when you got off of one. Now you ain't got to do it right away, but it's easy to see it now. You confident because you just got done taking this buy. You knew that this buy was over with, so it's most likely going to consolidate, which it did, and then it's going to make a move, and it could go up or it could go down, and we caught it on the down. It came down, it, it retested on that wick. Every retest do not look the same, but it retested, try to come up, retest, came right back down, dropping. Caught the sale, boom. Would have caught it right here as it went down. Now, let me show y'all this because we almost pull into it like an hour or so, and we got to call it quits. We got to save some of this good information for another day. So, where, where would you get in on the sale? I would get in on the sale. 
right when that boy crossed. Right when that line, when that, because I got this boy set up to where when that boy crossed, it's, it's going to go that way. How long? We don't know. We don't know how long. That's why we got our zone set up. That'll tell us how long. You feel me? Hey, so, Jay. Go ahead. Uh, okay, even when they cross, do you still want to wait for the dot or do, well, as soon as they cross, jump in? Yeah, you want to wait. You want to wait for the dot. You can wait for the dot too. You know what I'm saying? So, um, the dot, where did the dot come at? Come in at the dot came in right here, right here. That's where that dot, because can't you see a dot here, dot here? That dot was like right here. And when that boy came in, it boop, popped the dot right up here. Uh oh, I got the cross, I got the dot, boom, take the cell. And we got in right about where I put my line at, right here. Take Sweet. that cell. So let me let me let let's play this trade out and then we done. But I hopefully hopefully this this is informative for you guys. So we took That's the skill. big help for sure for sure. And and this is and we doing this all year long. This ain't the last one. We are gonna keep rocking these uh, these uh, zone trades for the squad. So we we getting in a sale right here. Okay, that boy dropped. Okay, that boy dropped. All right. So now, uh, who 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 want to do this? Uh, can we get can we get Tangela? She said she didn't want to do it. Can we get? I, I need my boy Watchman. Come, I let your boy man. Can you get up in here? Or you you got the baby. What's up? What's up? So what we gonna do, man? We in this cell. How what we gonna do now? It's all the way down here. What we gonna do? We gonna take profit or what? Uh. I mean, me myself, I would, but uh, you would have took profit. Yeah, you don't have to, but I, I would. Now let me tell you guys, the rule is, I, no, I, you know what? I can't even tell y'all. I gotta this this training is not about indicators. This training is about market structure alone. So I keep trying to show y'all the indicators. Let me take these boys off. Uh, boom, take that boy off. All right, so the rule is move your stop loss down. You see what I'm saying? Because you could possibly make a hundred dollars instead of 50. Now you could take, if you take your 50 and be like, you know what? I'm done. That's cool. Ain't that you ain't, ain't, that, you ain't that ain't nothing to laugh, laugh at because this real money and ain't nobody playing games with their real money. So stop loss would have been right. You could put it right up here or for me, cause we caught that boy so good. I probably would have put it like right here. So boom, we got our short. I, we got it in the tray right here. Put the stop loss right here. Delete that. And our take profit, we're looking at going down to the zone. Why, why is we going down to the zone? Because look what price kept doing in the past. Damn. Coming down here and sitting. Couldn't break past this support, this support zone, this floor. It was a nice little floor for, for a week. A nice floor for a week. So I ain't finna be stupid and say this boy coming down here. I'm going to say, you know what? Take profit one is going to be right here at this support zone. If this boy decide to turn on me, I'm closing the trade. I don't care what I thought. I'm closing the trade. So this is our trade right here. Stop loss right here. Take profit here. Let's play that boy out. Hopefully he don't act up. Okay, boom. We done. Because that boy wicked out and took our took target hit. Just off the wick, kissed it, mwah, and went right back up. Money collected. But let's see what it did, though. That was an easy trade, easy as ever. And came down again. If you ain't take profit the, the, the first time, it gave you another chance to take profit. Now we wicking out, just like how we did over here. We wicking out now. I will, I will, I will move the stop loss up. This is what I do. I move the stop loss up to about right here. And just test it. You, you here's the thing. You wanna you wanna seal as much profit that you're happy with, and still give it room to come back and move around a little bit of wiggle room. So let's let's play that boy out. So I move my stop loss up. We in profit. I secure some of it. Let's see that we get. Okay, cool. I'm still making money. Oh snap! So Christian would have took profit. You know what I'm saying? I that which is cool, 
But he looking at the chart like, dang, I should have stayed in. Man, I'm killing myself. No, -uh. don't beat yourself up because you took profit early. Which you, that's the wrong mindset. Because what, let me tell you what that'll do. If you keep beating yourself up every time that happens, you're going to end up taking a sale at the worst possible time when, and it's going to refer to something. Y'all understood that? Yeah. Yeah. So if you get out the trade, you're done. You lost your place. Remember, we got in up here. Why would you get in on a sale right here? You didn't know that this was going to keep dropping. Why would you, why would you play with your real life money like that? <coughs> you, yeah, you saw it. This is what, this is what retail traders do. Rookies. They get in on a sale at the worst possible time. The banks get in on a sale up here at the, at the supply zone. This is where the banks get in at. Rookies get in down here. They're like, oh, it's a, it's a sale. It's dropping. Let me get in down here. And boom, ain't even, no ain't even no money left down here. Like sometimes that boy pull up on you. So if you if you wake up and you see this move happen, you cannot take this sale. This sale is over. You should have caught it up here. You're gonna have to wait, monitor this trade, and wait for the pullback and, and catch a buy or something, or catch a pullback and then another drop. That's how you gotta do it. But if you move your stop loss up, now now that we down here, I'm gonna I'm gonna either take profit and just be done with it. Or I'm gonna move my stop loss to right here at the at the last zone. Remember that? Remember this was the last zone. I'm gonna move my stop loss to like right here. That's how I will keep playing it. If you want to keep dropping, I'm gonna keep making money off you and keep moving my stop loss until you're done making me money. You see what I'm saying? And so I know I under, but listen, I already understand that some of y'all would have been already out of this trade. But how will you ever learn if I don't really tell y'all this? Because at some point, you got to be able to say, you know what, I'm going to ride this boy and I'm going to move my stop loss. At some point in your trading career, you got to get out of that and just go ahead and collect these pips the right way. And, and it's going to come through over time. You know, it ain't going to come overnight. So, so we moved our stop loss. Boom, it came all the way back up. It, it's pretty, it pretty much stopped this out. I'm done. Ain't no sense to even stand in this trade no more. I'm done. That boy didn't came all the way back up here. It did wick out, but I, but because I saw it come all the way up here at one point, I took profit. I'm done. I didn't caught enough. You know what I'm saying? This is why I, when I put out in the trade last night, that was, we didn't caught 158, 59 pips if we took profit here. And if you let it pull back on you, you caught 107. Beautiful. All, you know how we caught 107 though? We caught 107 because we looked at market structure. We, plug, we, we was on a daily and put our, our uh, zones. That's how we was able to see it the right way. We wasn't caught off guard, y'all, because we marked it up right and we waited. And that boy wicked out, consolidated, dropped, retested, caught it right at the top. Now it's easy to catch 100 pips when you catch it at the top. But if you're catching it right here, yeah, you can catch 20 and 50 pips, but you ain't catching that big payday because you ain't wait and watch. You got to watch this boy. You got to be at work. You know what I'm saying? If you working and trying to trade, you got to be at work pulling out your phone, looking to see if it hit your daily line yet, and then put the phone away. You know what I'm saying? You, gotta, you can't be having eight hours go by without looking at the chart if you're trying to catch 100 pips. You can't let a whole day go by without you seeing what's popping in the market because you're going to miss your move every single time. Yup. So this is the stuff that YouTube ain't telling you. This is the stuff that you ain't going to find. This is the stuff that you're going to hear about from somebody that been there, lost money. I blew $1,600 in one night. Ooh. Woke up, woke up shaking. Like this Ooh. better be my demo. This better Ooh. be my demo account. I went through all my accounts. This was the live account. $1,600 gone. Damn. Gone. I'm I'm a I'm up like what I'm gonna tell my wife like oh snap. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't been there, man. I didn't boy I tell you, but I didn't bounce back though. What nothing gonna stop me? I, I understood that this forex thing. Once I understood that this was real and I didn't made withdrawals, I'm like okay, I'm about to master this. I don't care how much I lose. But if I lose, if I you know when I even when now when I start losing, I'm like okay, something ain't right. I ain't thinking right. I need I need to take a day off. 
Like I need, I need to get my mind right because I'm I'm all charted out. You feel me? I'm all candled out. I can't I can't look at another chart right now. I'm too I'm too, you know what I'm saying? I ain't thinking right. So I take a little day off, and to get my mind right because it's better to do that than just force your trades. Because when you keep getting in trades and they keep going back on you, you're like, man, what the heck am I doing wrong? It's time to just go ahead and whip through the market, whip through the market, see what it's doing, and then play your strategy out. Just stop somewhere and then cover it and cover it up. Like how I did. And start testing yourself. Go back and watch some more Academy videos. Holla at me. Say, Jay, I need to train it. I need to get right. My mind ain't right. And we and we'll do it. So I kind of want to stop here though. Um, I want to stop sharing. We had we got a comment. What's the comment? Any any this is a good time, good stuff, bro. For sure, for sure. Um, I'm gonna stop sharing. Any any questions about any of this? The uh, question anything? I had, you yeah. already answered. So for sure, for sure. Yup. So what I did was I ain't really use no indicators, really. Like I like we all I did was use that moving average, them two crossing moving averages. But mostly what did we use? We used the, all the time frames and we used the markup charts. We used what was a ceiling, became a floor. We used so, that tool. We used um, price action. We used support and resistance. Them zones are powerful. Hey, hey Jay. Yep. That, um, that simulator, bro. I feel like I'm going to go to the next level with that one. Oh, when you, when you cover up the chart and then it, it challenge you, like real life? Over and over, like keep playing them. Over. How you get that? Like it's on Trader View, right? Yeah, it's on Trader View. Hold on, let me let me share with y'all real quick, and then because I want y'all to know how to do that. It's tricky, as you can saw, it, it messed with you a little bit, but it, overall, it's good. So click on Replay, the button called Replay, and you, it's gonna have a red line, and so you will put it right at the last candle where where market is, and and click it, and then you gotta go to hit this little back button right here. It says jump to. So click that. And you want it to jump to here. So it can take away all of this. Boom. So now play over that cell again. And you, can, and you can speed it up. You can slow it down. So probably in the beginning you want it slow. Boom. Now let me tell y'all something. This is what y'all to do right here. Okay, so you like, hold on, let me speed it up. Right here. So boom. You're like, okay, I want to get in this cell. Put the timer on your phone for one minute and figure and see if you can figure out what is your um you got one minute to figure out what is your uh entry point, your stop loss, and your take profit. You got one minute and time it on your phone. I'm telling you, we're gonna be a beast. If all of us can kill this. And call and get to the point where we calling out trades, man. Come on, man. We're gonna be taking trips to Florida and, and just chilling together, trading. Like this is easy, man. But you gotta put the time in. We're gonna be we're gonna be going to downtown Detroit or downtown Grand Rapids or downtown Chicago all together as a team, handing out food because we making all kind of profits. We can give we can give to the little local charity. This is easy. <laughs> I take a thousand. You, you watch man take a thousand. Adam take a thousand. Preston take a thousand. We got five thousand. Like we making thousands by a day. When we get our accounts up, my goal is to help you guys become six figure traders. All you got. Let me let me tell y'all something. If you can get your, this is what I was talking to Adam about. If if we can get our account from taxes, money, what, sacrificing, going out to eat. If we can get our account to five grand, bro, I'm telling you, we didn't saw five grand in our lifetime. If we can just put our priorities in the right thing and put five grand in our trading account and take out fifty dollars a pip and catch just this much, that's a thousand dollars. You you mean to tell me we can catch this every day? Just that little bit of a candle. What's five? What's fifty dollars times thirty-two? I ain't good at math. I dropped out of college. <laughs> 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 Ever since I started making money trading Forex, I was like, boo, I'm done. I'm, I ain't going back to college. $50 times 30. That's 1500 
come on, man, just offer this candle, but we can't take $50 a pip until we can build our account up to at least five grand. Because if this thing go backwards on you, you will blow your whole account. So you got to, you know what I'm saying? So you got to at least have at least about five grand. If you're really good, like I could take a 50, I could take a $50 pip off $3,000, but I ain't messing around with five, with 1,000. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't pressed like that. Like this is a journey. This ain't no sprint. You feel me? But I can do it. I feel comfortable doing it off of five grand though. So, so. My demo, bro. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Do it on your demo and get used to it. But I'm just saying, like, get, get used to seeing what it feels like. Because look, look how many, all this, this is the only candle you could have caught, like, to, to make $1,000 a day. But look how many times this candle happened. That size candle. Aside that, that's 1000 if you took $50 a pip. That's 1000 That's 1000 Like, come on. Let's, let, let's chase our dreams, man. Let's make this happen. So... But that's how you do that replay. And then you can exit out and then it, and you can hit yes and it uh market to go right back to where it was. So good stuff, bro. Yep. So that's what's up, y'all. I hope this was informative, man. Like I really want us as a squad to just be making money like crazy, like together. And uh whatever I gotta do to help y'all, reach out to me, mark up a chart, send it to me. Like this is my priority, like y'all is my priority, like straight up. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy this. Like, this is work, but it don't feel like work. You see what I'm saying? So, um, yep. So, that being said, I think everybody good with their questions. Um, this video is recorded. So, if you want it, just message me on, uh, message me on um, uh, uh, Facebook, and I'll send this recording to you. Um, but, yep. So, all right, y'all, man. I'm going to get to the family and enjoy my day. Um, Thank you, Jay. I appreciate it, man. For sure. All day, man. I got you. All right, y'all. Let's make this money, baby. Peace. For sure, bro. I knew he was